In today's episode, let's learn about different types of plant trimming and cutting tools for your garden and learn which tool you must choose for what purpose, whether you're a beginner or an expert gardener. That's coming up. This episode is sponsored by 5 Star Tool Garden Joy Rechargeable Electric String Trimmer. Pruning or trimming your plants is one of the most important and most useful practice in gardening that needs to be performed irrespective of the type of plant you are growing in your garden. Pruning practices are indispensable for your plant's health and you should never avoid pruning on emotional grounds. You all must be aware of the benefits of pruning, whether to get rid of diseased branches or to promote branching and plant growth or even improving flowering and fruiting. You can check my detailed video on pruning tips and concepts from a link in the description below. There are many gardeners who are not aware of the correct type of pruners they need. Like for instance, which of these two you would choose? What is this flat surface and why? Choosing wrong pruner for a wrong task can adversely affect your plants as well as your gardening practice. So now let's look at the different types of pruners. Pruners are also called as pruning shears or hand pruners or secateurs and even garden scissors. On number one, hand pruners or hand shears. These are the most commonly used cutters in home gardening. There are two types, anvil pruners and bypass pruners. Most gardeners are not aware of the purpose of these two types of pruners. Anvil pruners have a straight upper blade that cuts against a flat lower plate that looks like an anvil. These anvil pruners tend to crush the stem as they cut and are best for woody branches that won't be harmed by crushing. So remember to use them only on woody or even semi-woody branches and not for soft branches that can be crushed. Whereas the bypass pruners have curved scissor-like blades that overlap. These are ideal for cutting younger and soft branches but can also be used for cutting semi-woody and woody branches. These are the commonly used pruners in home gardening and they are best for making stem cuttings at 45 degree cutting angle for propagation of plants from stem cuttings and also easy to use. The durability varies from brand to brand. In my experience, this is one of the best heavy duty pruner I have used till date and also pretty cheaper and can cut even thicker branches like up to 20 mm. If you want a simple light pruner which can cut up to 10 mm and much cheaper parrot beak pruner will do its job. Now we'll quickly check out some more cutting tools one by one. On number 2, lopping pruners or lopping shears. They have long handles that can provide a little more reach than hand shears and they are best suited for heavy duty pruning for up to 3 fourth to 1 inch diameter cuttings. On number 3, pole pruners. Pole pruners are made of blades attached to hooks. These hooks are mounted on long poles and a chain or cord controls the blade, which is usually spring loaded. Pole pruners can typically reach branches that are 12 feet or more above the ground. These are typically used when the use of ladder is not possible. On number 4, hedge pruners or hedge shears. These are designed for rapid trimming of hedges. The hedge shears come in a variety of sizes and designs. They have long, straight or angled blades that are sharp enough to cut several branches at one shot. The longer blades of head shears ensure an even cut across the plant branches to maintain a neat and balanced border. You can also use them to make a neat border of many other plants as well like bougainvillea, bush and stuff like that. On number 5, pruning saw. 
These come in a variety of sizes and blades with teeth that are fine or coarse or even a folding type like this one. This looks pretty handy and sturdy for home gardening purpose. These are typically used for stems that are more than 1 to 1.5 inches in diameter which are usually too large for hand pruners or lopping shears. On number 6, flower cutter or floral snips. This is a simple bypass pruner to cut small branches or flowers. These are lightweight and have a spring system and they're best for performing deadheading and also pinching technique for more branching and making your plant more bushier. On number 7, grass trimmer. If you have a lawn and don't want to invest on a lawn mover, this is the tool for you. You can check out this high quality grass trimmer and find out more details about it. Links in the description below. Last but not the least, a simple good quality scissor does a lot of job. I'm sure all of you agree with this. This is quite handy and most useful all-purpose cutting tool in gardening. Please like, share and comment below with your feedback and queries. Happy gardening!